What's up, everybody? I told you I'd be back to do a full demo on the Roku Streaming Stick Plus. I'm excited about this. Of course, Roku's known for making great stuff. This one has uh, increased Wi-Fi range, and of course, 4K HD, and um, there's some differences here um, that I'm excited to go through. So the first thing you gotta do, this is the back of the TV that I'm going to uh, be going in. So the first thing you gotta do, if you've got a remote, you wanna get two AAA batteries uh, that come with um, the device, and uh, you wanna put those in there. So we're gonna go ahead and put our favorite batteries in the back because you're going to need to pair this remote and we'll walk through that really quickly. You're gonna to need to pair this remote. There's a little light, you'll be able to see it there on the bottom, that uh, you, right there is the light and you push that and that pairs the remote when you get this thing powered on and you can control the volume, your voice, all kinds of great stuff. If you remember the unboxing video, you remember this. This is where the magic happens. This is the Roku stick, look how small that thing is. Uh, that's really, this and the cable are what you take with you wherever you go around the house to other TVs or if you just wanna keep it tucked away in the back of the TV, you can do it like this. There are some TVs that have the HDMI input that are flat on the back. So just know you're gonna have, looks to be a couple inches out from the back, okay? But there are a lot, including this TV, that have an HDMI uh, input on the side. So if you're gonna put it flat on the wall, you, you can put it on the, um, on the outside so you can still enjoy your uh, Roku stick and not have to worry about it like, you know, with the space. from Because a lot of people like to have their TV flat against the wall. Anyway, here's how this is gonna go. I think I can get that in there quickly. If you remember, it is powered by USB. So the other end is a USB. A lot of TVs will have a USB, but you may have, use, you're using it for something else, or you may have a TV that does not have a USB that you can use to power the Roku. Um, Roku thought of everything. They included an extension cable in case you wanna run it to wherever you've got power. Um, so you basically plug this into one end of the extension, like so, and then take the other end which can be a USB extender to another USB, or you can pop on that adapter and plug it into the wall. In my case, I don't need either one because I have a USB port in the back of this computer, and there it is right here on the side of the computer. I'm sorry, I said computer, it's a television, Chris. There you can see I've got an HDMI here and a USB, so if you have uh, either or, you can plug your Roku into the HDMI, and I'm gonna plug this USB to power the Roku stick. And you can see right here, the light has come on on the Roku stick, meaning we have life, and this thing is ready to go. So now I'm going to flip this television around and we're gonna go through a setup. All right, we've got this flipped around, and this is your first screen you're gonna to need to worry about is pairing your Roku remote with your TV. So, what you wanna do is, as you can see, slide this off, and you're gonna to wanna to hit this button. Now it looks like wait for five seconds and watch for the lights. There it is. Now we see the light. Okay. Now it's pairing the remote. Hopefully, as I'm putting the, you ever have that moment where you're like, oh, here we go. Let's get started. Let's go, we're, we're speaking in, in English right now. It's looking. And now it's checking wireless and internet. Check, boom. Um, I'm on. Uh, it will analyze your HDMI connection, and uh, during this process, your, your screen, go ahead, let it, you know, let it do its thing. Um, it's set to, yes, the screen looks good. Um, TV and power and volume can be controlled. Yes, we want that. So, are we hearing music? 
Let me turn it up, because I can hear it. Yes, music is playing. Did the music stop playing? Yes, the music stopped playing. So now it knows. Your Roku is a remote control to set up and remember to point this remote at your TV because that's where your stick is, right? This is using the stick. So uh, you want to enter your email address. Uh, it'll automatically do that. Um, boom. Now it's going to check your uh, email inbox to activate the link. So now you got to go to your email that you set up your account with and it needs to be activated. So I'm checking my email right now and it's coming in and there it is right away. And I click on activation link on my email. It opens it up. It says, name your device on here. And I'm going to call it Chris's Roku Stick. Uh, now let's get you set up to stream. Do you pay for cable or satellite uh, TV? Yes, I do. Uh, select your cable provider. For me, I selected my cable provider. Um, I don't want to tell you what my cable provider is. So anyway, now you're going to go through the process of selecting the subscription services, you know, Netflix, Hulu, Prime, obviously it's Prime, right? Uh, Apple TV. So I'm selecting those. And of course, you'll be able to sign in once you jump into your Roku, Disney Plus, uh, Pandora, Showtime, ESPN, uh, AT&T, CNN Go, Peacock Discovery, iHeart, just a ton of things that you can select. So you go through and click that and then you build your channel lineup. And here, I think you can, this is how you uh, customize your, uh, your landing page. So really, you know, if you're into sports, if you're into uh, movies, uh, kids and family, if you've got kids that are using this thing, you might wanna check that. Um, I, I like rent buy movies, I like sports. Um, and let's just go local news and actually, no, not local news, comedy. I like to laugh. And then hit continue. And it looks like you can add all kinds of additional channels, Peacock, Pandora, at any time. I'm hitting con uh, continue. And it's adding all of those things to my experience here. It's opening the gates. It's maximizing the fun factor. It's maximizing the fun factor. Oh my gosh, there's going to be so much fun in store for you with the Roku Streaming Stick Plus in 4K. It looks like we're, we're hitting hyperdrive. It's adding Netflix. It's adding all of your applications that you want uh, on this Roku Stick. Now keep in mind, when you take that Roku Stick anywhere and you jump onto a Wi-Fi, it knows it's you. And so it will, it will get the stuff that you have programmed in a, it's a personalization and you can segment other people in your family on this. So here we go. We're all done. Um, and I guess I'm going to hit enter and here we are. So here is my intro and um, this is like the intro video uh, that they give you. I'm just going to hit home and go to where my experience is. So here we are. And um, basically I can go and select any of the stuff that um, is my stuff and uh, you know ESPN, NFL, um, anything that's a 4K spotlight. So if you've got a, you know, this is just a really, that was super easy to set up, really easy to set up. And uh, you've got your own feed, uh, which is another thing you can personalize. So there you go. That is the walkthrough of the setup of the Roku Streaming Stick Plus. I hope that helps you. I hope uh, you like this video. If you do, give me that. If you don't, don't give me that. Oh, I'm kidding. I appreciate you watching. I hope this helps you. Thank you.